What is the crack leads and welcome to a brand new tutorial on the channel. A lot of people ask me this uh, question about how to do the trap feints. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial. We've got two variations. The first variation is this one. Don't worry, we'll get into it in a little bit more detail here, but you're going to see an example right here. So basically this is called a trap feint and it is when you let the ball through your legs from the ball coming to you and you keep control with that same player. And then there is the second variation, which is called a true feint which is very, very similar, except that you don't keep control of the same player that you do the feint with. So you're letting the ball through your legs with this one, but you're giving control to the other player, so one of your teammates. As you see in this example here, the ball is going to a different player. So you let the ball through your legs, but you don't keep control of the player that you let the ball through the legs with. So if you go into the actual um, command list here in the game itself, this is how they define the traps. So the trap fade is this one here, whereas before you trap the ball, you're releasing, the R you're releasing all the controls and the only input you have is with the R stick. And then the other one is you are holding L1 or LB, depending on whether you're playing on PS4, or PS5 or Xbox. And this is called a true fan. So don't worry, lads. I am going through this a little bit quick, but we do have a lot of examples coming up here in a second and a breakdown of how to do it and when to do it and when I recommend to do it. So this can be very, very, very effective. I use this quite a lot on the wings. And yeah, if you are playing against somebody good, they will kind of cop onto this, but you can switch it around and create a lot of open space with it against, you know, most players, right? So the first variation that we're going to see is already this clip here, where you're letting the ball through the legs and you're maintaining uh, possession with that same player. So for this one, you are basically just l holding nothing on your pad. You're releasing every button on your pad, apart from holding the R stick down in the direction that the ball is coming. So it's the same direction as the ball is traveling, the same uh, path flight that the ball is traveling in. And you can see here is another example right here on the wing. This is what I use a lot of the time. You know, you just try to kind of confuse your opponent. Again, you're holding the R stick all the way towards where the ball is actually traveling to us. So that's all you have to do for that one. And then the player can maintains possession with that one. The second one then is the true feint, which is slightly different. We've already seen this. So I get the ball here with Sergio Busquets, but I'm actually letting it through his legs and then taking control of Gavi without having to player switch, without having to pass, without having to do anything. And to do this one, it's the same as the first one, except that you were holding L1. Uh, so it's the same directional that you're going to be using on the R stick, except that you're holding L1 to relinquish that control and get control of another player. So I do recommend going into the trainer mode and having to mess around with this because you can actually practice it, you know, without any pressure from the defense and you can get uh, a real feel for how to do it. And it is very effective. I use this quite a lot. This and double touch. I will have a tutorial on double touch coming soon as well. And for newcomers, this can be huge to improve your skill level and to improve just being able to have this in your attack and arsenal. Because a lot of people know how to do this, but in the, doing it in the tick of battle, lads, doing it when you're under pressure or doing it to get out or to carve open some space, that's what separates a good player from a great player so yeah i definitely would practice this quite a lot i practice this a good bit uh, to get it right but you can create a lot of open space with it it's very very simple to do it's more about just being confident enough to do it especially when you're on the wings um just being able to do it and do it effectively and being able to read the defender's position and the way that they're actually set up defensively that you were able to you know pull it off whenever you do because look you can get a lot of good chances you're going to see a couple of good breaks here where you know you kind of mix them in so that's the first one that's the, the the trap feint and then you have the true feint here coming up here in a second so we switch it back in across we're going to open the space up keep the the pressure on keep to maintain it and then we're going to do we're going to be mixing and matching so we're we're kind of linking the two of these you've already seen this one where it goes through the legs there as well and it just creates a load of space and this is another example where it just gives you a little bit of breathing room to do it so yeah let me know what you guys think of that it's a short and sweet tutorial let me know if you enjoyed it if you want more of these let me know as well i think it can really improve your game if you mix them in with your other game style and yeah that is it for me don't forget to subscribe lads i'll be back quite soon with another tutorial and another couple of videos peace hope this helps you